Okay, so the first thing we need for this forge is a bit of flat earth. So here in the, in the fire pit that we have, I'm just gonna kick some of this dirt away. And use a small portion right here. Next thing, I'm gonna use some fire brick. I found this at a place called Keller Material. That's in San Antonio. Um, if you're in another part of the United States, just Google fire brick and see if you can find places uh, that sell it. I got these for about $1.20 each. So I got about 20 of them for about 25 bucks. If you want, uh, you could use uh, normal bricks, but normal bricks are gonna melt. They're gonna add slag to the forge, but they will work for a little while. You could even dig a hole in the ground and uh, use the same principle. So I'm just gonna use a couple bricks to make a base. And a couple bricks to make some sides. So it's not perfectly flat, but you get the idea. Basically, there's a trough in here. I'm going to use just a bit of, uh, what is this, one and a half inch pipe that I found as an air inlet. So that's, that's basically all you really need for the forge. Um, it's a really basic design. I'm going to change this. I'm, I'm going to set up for an Orishigane run, so it's not going to use the same uh, design. But that's basically all you need to get started in blacksmithing is a couple bricks. Do it like this so the air hits this side. And uh, some charcoal. And at the end of the pipe or to the air, you would add a air source. So you could use a old uh you know hair dryer or a, va a vacuum blower i'm going to use my fuego which is a japanese box bellows here to supply the air basically uh how this works is there's a baffle inside here and as you pull on the stick it forces air through one of two doors and it'll, it'll provide air on the push and the pull. So that's what I'm gonna use for the air. Uh, I just I'm gonna use a little vacuum tube and duct tape it to my metal tube down here. And that's about it. Really cheap forge uh, that you can get started with. No, no welding at all. Okay, so this is the way I set up the forge for the Orish kind I run. Uh, it's a base of fire bricks and then two bricks high. Basically, um, if you're going to use this for blacksmithing, forging, I take off t these two ends and make this section longer and, and make this thinner. But it's, uh, you know, uh, you get the idea. Over here I just used some other rocks to fill in the, the gap that I have left over here. Just a couple of rocks, so it's going to blow out a couple bits of charcoal, but it's going to be fine. Um, it's going to be plenty hot. Again, uh, about a two foot metal pipe to get the vacuum hose far enough away so it doesn't melt. Then a vacuum hose up into the Fuego right there. And uh, that's going to supply the air needed to burn the charcoal. So I'm going to get a fire started in here and uh, get this run started. So I just started a fire with uh, some wood, and uh, once it gets going a little more, I'm going to start adding charcoal and uh, fill the, the thing up to the top. And once it's filled to the top, I'm going to start adding the nails for the Orishigana. Uh, 